All right. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. It's time. It's Friday night. It's Friday night, fright night, as we normally do it. We're here. We're ready to die horribly. Okay, we're not going to die horribly. We're basically pros at this point, all right? So when I'm running around with my innocent little girl and there's chainsaw crazy people chasing me, I'll be totally fine, right? You know what I'm saying? I'll survive. Hold on. I got I to gotta hit a little protein here. Just got back from the gym. That's why I'm running late tonight. But then we're going to do some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I about dumped that on my shirt, and that would have been pretty funny. Ah, yes. So let's get it going. What do you guys think? You think it's time for some Texas Chainsaw? Let's kill that, let's shrink that, and let's fire this game up and see what we can do tonight. I feel like I'm improving. But I'm going to put money down that I die horribly here very quickly. Just because that's how it works. It's like, you know, when you feel like you're getting better, you really get your hopes crushed. And that's what's going to happen tonight. No, that's not what's going to happen. We are going to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And we're all out of gum. A gun interactive. And later, we might have um, EA joining us for a little bit of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre action. So, that'll be fun. And also, I will say, if we've got anybody watching and you have this game and you want to play, shoot something in the comments. I might create a lobby and bring you in. You know, we can have fun together. We might as well, right? We're going to play. Let's do it right. All right. Let's victim it up, you know. People love to be victims nowadays. Me too. Let's just let's just be victims. I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. It's a Friday, so how could it not be good? You've got the whole weekend ahead of you. And if you're in the US, next weekend you've got a long weekend with Labor Day. It's gonna be awesome. If you're not in the US, I don't know what the hell y'all celebrate. Put it in the chat. Tell me what you celebrate. You probably have more holidays than we do. Oh, okay. I guess I'll be Leland here. We'll just we'll just do Leland. He's such a stud. Such a good-looking dude. Look at his throat, though. Does anybody else see that? It looks like he's been choked for hours. He's into some kinky stuff. You know, it's fine. All right. Do we have everyone? Huh. That's the fastest the lobby has ever started for me. Of an unidentified male have been discovered near Devil's River off Highway 163 in southwest Texas. A Cedar Canyon resident stumbled upon the scene while hunting early yesterday morning. Authorities have confirmed this is approximately the Unlock same exits by shoving your screwdriver into weird places. Run helplessly from the family. Let's see if she's making noise. So a lot of people make a lot of noise at the beginning. I don't think it's good because if you wake up grandpa too quickly, then you've got to deal with... You've got to deal with um, people being... The other bad guys being able to come down here besides just Leatherface. And that's always a bad gig. Oh, see? Somebody screwed up. So now all the bad guys, all the crazy family members can come down here. Come on. I think that's a better way to do it, actually. Alright, let's get us a bone scrap because we're Leland and we can stab a bitch in the neck like a man. Alright, oh, I don't have an unlock tool. Yeah, the whole family is going to be down here soon. That's what's bad. There's a box back here. And break our back. Perfect. Alright, let's get us a tool. Let's get out of here. We'll do it this way. If you hold E, I think it's better. What did that guy just say? I've survived for one minute, guys. New world record. Alright, let's go unlock that door. 
And then maybe after we unlock it, we grab another unlock tool. Because it's pretty quiet down here right now, which is nice. Just go unlock this door real quick. Do, 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 do. That's too long. Let's not do that. Right here. So Leland sucks a little bit because his proficiency is low and his stealth is low. But he's good because of his strength, which sometimes is helpful. And his knockdown ability is pretty sweet too. Alright, Leland, let's do it. All right, so we got one person out of the basement now. Let's get us a tool. No idea what that guy's saying. I think he said he finally got the key. That's that's what I think. I don't know. All right. Hmm, let's rock and roll. We go unlock that door. We've got an extra pick, a lock pick. We got something to stab somebody with. Got got work. Lock pick. He needs a lock pick. All right. I feel like that guy has like a sack of potatoes in his mouth. I think we want to go in this door. All right. Yo, bro, you got a lockpick for the fuse box. Everybody, no, 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 do the fuse, do the fuse. Do the for, fuse for the fuse? The Where? Fuse. Yeah, I've got the fuse. It's in the box. You can get out in two Leland. seconds. I'm right here. Yeah? Is that you, dude? Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Fuck. Go Hold on. Go, the go, maybe maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. Let's not panic yet. Yeah. yeah go for it, go for it. Alright, and then cover me. We can hit him. If someone comes up to hit him, me. I'll, I'll put the fuse in. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, man, we're about to get out of here. Let's do it. Oh shit! On him. I've got. I think we got someone I... trying to come around. No, you're good. You're good. Bro, my mouth is shit. If you can do this for me. <laughs> I can try. I can try. Stop it. Oh, I can't figure out. Okay, man. nine, uh, now. six, and a three. <laughs> Please figure out. Six and a three, five and a seven. Got it, got it. Let's go, let's go. You know where to go, yeah? Bro, just run, no, man, I don't, but I'm following you. About, just follow me, literally two seconds out of here, man. This way. Oh, easy clap. Okay, come, 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 come. We're literally two seconds away, man. I'm not even joking. Out of here, I've opened the door as well. Oh, sissy's behind us. Wait, we're here, man. Just follow me. Go through this gap in front of me. And we're here, man. Take a left. And then we're here. Go, 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 go. Easy oh. clap. Easy, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Well played, man. Yep. Door in the basement for anyone I'm alive. So, <laughs> I'm oh. so happy you had a mic, man. Because I didn't have a lot of it. So you okay. came into play. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, if what's up, bros? If you didn't say you, like, you had a mic and you just ignored me, like, because you didn't hear me, I would have been fucking. That would have <laughs> taken ages. Thank you, bro. Life over, man. Yeah, man. Looks like they're going to get you out, too. Get out. Yeah. What are you doing, Rose? Oh, what do you got going on this Friday oh, night? Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, God. They're going to die. Oh! No! Oh no! Oh no! This is horrible for these two! They almost had that as well. They did, they're so close. They could still get it! <laughs> yeah, they just need to kick the thing in it. Yeah, if Connie goes for it. Oh no, now there's two, they're screwed. Oh, that looks like that would hurt. Dude, the fuse box is so easy over there. If it's over there, man, it's so easy to do. Too, too tired like to do a live, so you're watching me? Awesome. 
Well, I just got back from the gym, so I'm a little like. I took a shower, but I'm still hot. I'm like sweaty. I don't know. Well, we are going to beat the hell out of this game. I've got some practice this week, so <laughs> that's all I'm saying. We're we're doing better now. We're not. Fuse box is open, bro. Right? Go for the fuse box. It's up the um. Ah, you can't hear us, can you? Well, no, they can. They can hear when we're dead. No, but I don't think they've got a mic. Oh, they may not have mics yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I... you got out. You can get out so easily. Just see what they are. See dad, he's sitting up there, man. My back says <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> no, this isn't me. This isn't me right now. I'm watching. I, I, I just want to see what happened to these girls. Oh, dude. Oh. No, I already escaped. I already escaped. I'm Leland, or I was Leland until he's I got out. Now. I just have to see what happens to these people. I feel like they're so screwed. Like she was so she close to getting off. out. No, she could hide up there and, and wait for the perfect moment. Oh, fuck. Night, night, sleepy time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, she's freaking dead. She doesn't know how to execute. Oh, that was, that was clutch. Oh, no. All right, I, I'm not going to watch them struggle over and over again going up and down. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> They're gonna keep going up and down, up and down. Oh my gosh. That was great, that was great. All right, let's get some more victim action on here. Yeah, that probably is how she dies. She just falls down and slowly bleeds out in the basement. What a way to go. Not living the dream. Not living the dream. This is such a cool game. I just feel like it's going to die off at some point pretty soon. Like, it's so cool. Like, Dead by Daylight has really been overplayed. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, but it's just time for more of these asymmetric horror games to come out to kind of put Dead by Daylight to rest. That's what I think. Yeah, I think it's super neat. I just don't know how long it'll last. They're going to have to really expand stuff like... Um, Create new maps, maybe have some additional killers, just some variation stuff. What did he just say to me? What, what about my Baba? Oh, they're all part of a group, so I have no idea what language he just spoke. <laughs> Short and evil. Oh, yeah, I do think this is going to be cool. They have another game. Uh, coming out that is um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm going to play that game. That sounds fun. But I think that's coming out like November time frame. Start kissing. Start kissing what? <laughs> Alright, who is not... Sonny, I believe in you. You can ready up whenever you want to. You call me a culo? What does that mean? What does that mean? Start kiss the baba. I don't know what culo is. I've heard that word before. I thought it was like a curse word. And this guy is like, come on, guys. The other thing that's kind of weird about this game uh, that I don't know if I love about it. <laughs> Lovely. I can shut it off. Lovely. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, stay quiet and hidden. Easy. Find useful items, also easy. 
picking locks, unlock exits. That looks really hard for her. It always does. All right, let's get out of here. We're Leland. We're the football player. We're here to save the day. I don't want to wake up Grandpa too quick, though, so we're not going to go crazy here. All right, Sonny, you follow me, buddy, and we got this in the bag. You know what I'm saying? I need to go to a box. Oh, I hear him. He probably hears me, too. I think it's better to do just hold E on this one. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Is he coming this way? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. We're good. I just need some bones, some bone fragments. Something I can stick somebody in the back with, you know? Perfect. Oh, we're doing it. Dry bones. What wrong with these? So nice. Oh, hold on. I forgot to start recording. I need to do that in the background. You never know when there's a good shorts moment. You know what I mean? You just oh, never know. Okay. This door will be just fine. This door will not be fine. I choose a different door. That is a bad door. That's a hard pass on that door. I like this door better. <laughs> Playing some Mario Kart 8. Nice. Mario Kart's such a classic. So good. Oh, they, wo they woke him up. Crap. Okay. We're about to have a problem. All right, thoughts and prayers. Did he see me? Oh shit, what did I just hear? Did I hear somebody next to me? Dude, I know he's around here somewhere too. Oh, there he is, there's that one. Where's Cook, there's Cook. Oh god. He's going down, he's checking, he's checking. Oh shit, did he just see me? He didn't see me. I can't believe it. I gotta stay focused. I don't have an unlock tool. Gotta get out of here. All of that for nothing. Let's cut these down. So we don't make noise. Okay, we need to get a tool, a lockpick. Is there somebody on the other side of this? Huh. Okay, are there lockpicks in there? Good. Please lead somewhere good. Oh my god, I am barely eluding these people. Is there a toolbox around there? Oh god. Where are my teammates? I feel very alone. Are they alive? Yeah, they're alive. They're working together. Oh, well, there's one. Being chased to her death. That'll be just fine, I'm sure. We'll go this way. Is there a toolbox? Nope, nope, nope. Yes. I can, but I don't want to. Where's old chainsaw dude, Matt? How do we get out of here? Okay, we need a toolbox like yesterday. 
somebody being murdered? Oh god, it sounds horrible. Oh no. Okay, so there... There was a fuse. There was a fuse out here. And there was the fuse box right there. Where was that fuse? Right here, right here, right here. Grab it. And go in here. All right, all right, all right. Fuse box is right there. See where this leads? Tastes good, don't it? Tastes good, don't it? All right, I need him to go away. Don't go this way. They're gone. Oh, I moved. He comes up right there, right? Shit! I don't much enjoy being violent, but I got no choice here. Everywhere I turn, there they are. <laughs> Requires unlock tool. Oh, great. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Okay. Let's go down. Let's get the freaking hell out of here, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if they chase me down here. I don't give a shit about Grandpa. What do we have here? Did they follow me down? Okay, I can get an unlock tool. I can go back up. I can unlock that thing. I know they're still here. All right, we got a plan. You have a morality question? Say someone filmed a four-year a four-year-old playing FNAF. Would it be wrong to put that on YouTube asking for? Nice, Leland. Thank you for cooperating and uh, doing everything you can to win this game. I am actually the best. I appreciate that. I'm trying to find an unlock tool with the fuse so I can get us the hell out of here. This guy's talking shit. You hear this guy talking shit? Jackass. I'm literally trying to get a freaking tool. Where the hell are the tools? Struggle is actually real. So, would it be wrong to have a four year old playing FNAF? Oh my god. Dude, that would give a four year old such nightmares. They would be scarred after that. Oh, that was my teammate. I'm like, what the hell? I thought that was sissy. Oh, there's the box. All right, I found a box. He wants to play the fourth game. I haven't played the FNAF games. I'm actually gonna be playing those like all through September and October. I'm playing all of them. So I don't even know how bad like the fourth one would be. Something useful. Nowhere to hide. Wow. He likes horror games and jump scares. Sounds like me at four years old, because I was totally into that stuff, too. It gave me nightmares, but it was so much fun. You know? I just see a blue door. That jerk. What are the chances he sees if I open this? Motherless goat. You are David. David. It's fun. 
nowhere to hide now, so. Idiot. All right. Got the freaking thing, but where do I go from here? Go out this way, right? Need to go that way. No! Oh, that hit you! Come on! Oh no! Oh no! What? What was that? I hit him with a door. Nonsense. Nonsense. Get me out of here. Watch Jurassic Park and Tales from the Crypt. Oh my god, Tales from the Crypt. What a old school, awesome show. Nightmare I had growing up with Skeleton <laughs> Digimon. Oh my god, that's, that's good stuff. Oh, the game freeze. It likes to freeze sometimes if you like do certain things. I think it did. All right, Alt F4. Yeah, so I watched a lot of Tales from the Crypt and stuff like that. Um, I loved horror movies. I loved everything. But when I was a kid, I used to freak my parents out because I would have night terrors. So I would like be living the night. So sleepwalking is when you just dream, right? And you do like weird stuff. You walk around, you get confused, and then you usually like walk back to your bed. That's sleepwalking. I used to have night terrors whenever I was a little kid because I watched so many horror movies because I liked them so much. So I would be living the nightmare instead of just sleepwalking and like talking. I would be living the nightmare and it would freak my parents out. So, yeah, I don't know if I recommend like at such a young age <laughs> watching horror, but I think it's fun. Once you're like eight, you're totally fine. You know, I think I think you just got to be about eight years old and then just let the horror rip. You'll be fine. You'll grow up to be a perfect adult like me. I turned out fine, right? <laughs> oh, God, I dropped something. Ah. Okay. All right, let's get back in the game. Those guys were making fun of me. They were giving me shit because they're all on a team and they're all calling out to each other. Dexter had those when he was two years old, but it wasn't horror games. Oh, nice. Uh, well, not not nice. Not nice to have it two years old. That's actually really scary, but it's surprising to hear other people having those night tears, too. I don't think they're very common. I don't think it's common for people to have, like, night tears and actually, like, live the nightmares. It's almost like VR goggles, right? Because you are you think you're awake and you're you're seeing things. You're seeing the horrible things while you're moving throughout the house. I think I got it from maybe like a grandmother or something. I had a grandmother that used to sit up straight in the middle of the night and scream at the top of her lungs and then go back to sleep. And my grandfather used to freak out when this would happen because just perfect sleep, everyone's quiet, and then sit up, scream at the top of your lungs, and then go back to sleep. You can imagine the trauma that would cause, but... No telling why that was. <laughs> so, Rose, do you have a two-year-old and a four-year-old? talk to people outside uh, other dreams uh, but they can't wake up yeah yeah no just the one almost five nice five that's a fun age that's when they start to start to be helpful you know they start to like want to help you and do stuff whereas up till that time they're really kind of you just got you have a lot of work on your hands right they're super adorable and cute and lovely but you have a lot of work, but once they get to about five, they start helping and can entertain themselves and let you kick your feet up a little bit more. The search continues helpful? Oh God! Your five-year-old is it helpful? Well, boys are different than girls too. I'll, I will say that. A 
Native I think Bromley girls generally are helpful at about five. They start, like, the wanting to help and do stuff. With Boys just like to break things. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search... I don't have a five-year-old. I have, uh... I have girls. I've got a... I've got a, um, eight-year-old and a fourteen-year-old. So... So I know girls. I, the only boys I know was me growing up, and I was destructive. And I don't guess I was that helpful. <laughs> the girls are helpful. Fourteen, that's right. How old do you think I am, Rose? You and, you and I, I think, are pretty similar in age. I can tell from talking to you that I think we're pretty similar in age. Because a lot of the references you make, I don't think a lot of people would understand. But I do. You say tells, to the, tell, tells from the crypt to like a lot of people and they'd be What's like, what are you talking on? about? What is this place? <laughs> Yeah, save my soul, that's right. Yeah, girls, can you imagine? They like to break your heart. Boys break things, girls break your soul and break you down emotionally. Thank you. The never ending story. Yes. That is high quality. Sebastian! Such a hero. Who didn't want to be Sebastian? Oh shit, does he see me? Is he looking at me? No? Okay, Texas Chainsaw Guy is not looking at me. I'm wrong. I'm so freaking wrong. How is he so fast? Oh my god, there's nowhere to run! Jump! Ooh. Oh my gosh. That was so tense. That was so tense right there. Alright, he doesn't know where I went. Mid 30s to early 40. That's a, that's good. That's a good guess. I'm 40 years old. I just turned 40 this year. I feel like an old dude now, which my mind is not old, right? I'm obviously a child, right? I love playing video games and doing stuff like that, but uh yeah, definitely getting older. But yeah, Rose, I would assume you're somewhere around there too. You're probably mid mid 30s, mid 30s. Are you mid thirties? I bet I'm get here. Hold on, I'm gonna guess your age because of the references. I think you're thirty-seven. Shit! Wow, you're a lot. Okay, you're a lot younger, but you—that's really cool. You're thirty-three and you still catch all those references. That's awesome. Like I was one of those kids that uh, I was during the like Magic: The Gathering age. All right. That was the cool card game to play when I was a little kid. And after that, like, your your group, right, with you being about seven years younger than me, would probably have been, like, Pokemon. That's what kids were playing, like, whenever you were growing up. It was the Pokemon cards. I got this. I, get, I mean, if you were into card game stuff, I don't, I don't even know. There were so many hobbies that people could be into at that time. But... I remember the days of Pogs, right? Pogs, those were awesome. Had your super cool slammers. Hey, what's up, good little slayer? You think you watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre when you were three? Jesus. Your parents were just like, just go in the other room, just leave us alone. Mommy and daddy are trying to get our drink on and we just wanna chill. Go to the other room. We have cable TV. There's HBO. I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre is playing. Just entertain yourself so mommy and daddy can have some alone time. Is that what it was like? And then you're just like, I'm three and I'm going to go over there and eat my goldfish while I watch Texas Chainsaw. Oh, you had a box, but you didn't, not that you used them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Can I? I don't guess I can climb up stuff. I just realized that. Okay. This door is already open, so is this where I want to go? Oh god, I never know where to go in here. Oh, I guess I want to go that way. Oh! I have to find the others. I've got a lockpick, and I'm gonna follow you to freedom. Locked. Damn it. All right, I've got all the lockpicks, all of them, right here with you, buddy. All right, so good story, good story about Nightmare on Elm Street. My kids, when I, uh, not my kids, my parents, when I was younger, I begged them for a waterbed, okay? I begged them for this waterbed. And um, they eventually got me one. Like, it was super cool. I had a waterbed. I could change the temperature on it. Well, then I decided to watch Nightmare on Elm Street. And I can't remember if it was Nightmare on Elm Street 1 or 2, but it's the one where... The kid, I think it was a boy, and he's like laying in the bed, and, and he has like a clear water bed, so you can see straight through it. He's laying on it, and he like turns over, and he sees Freddy Krueger floating inside the water bed. And then it, I can't remember if it like bursts or something, and the claws come out, and he's dead. And then his parents come into the room, and he's like floating in the water bed. Like Freddy traded places with them. It was crazy. And I was like, and it was funny because at the time, that I had this waterbed. I was trying to be tough and I was like, it's just a movie, it's no big deal, you know? Oh God, they're here. What just happened? What just happened? Oh no, I got him killed! Oh, I feel so bad. I somehow screwed up the lockpick. Oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, so anyway, I had this waterbed, and I was trying to be, like, cool about it, or whatever. And so I convinced my parents at the time, because I really started to think about it, and I was like, Freddy Krueger is going to kill me in this waterbed. He's going to kill me in my sleep. So I convinced them. I'm like, Mom, Dad, my waterbed is just, it's really hot. It gets really hot at night. It's like the temperature is messed up, and I can't get any sleep, like, for school, could I just get like a regular bed? And they were like kind of frustrated because they had got me this water bed and I had it for like a year. And they're like, you know, I guess, you know, we'll get you a new bed. And so I got a normal bed again and I was so relieved to get rid of that water bed. It's so stupid because I feel so bad. I wasted my parents' money because I was a baby that was scared of Freddy Krueger killing me in my water bed. <laughs> You just used to think I was cool sitting by the corner of the couch watching TV and making uh, Family Guy references. Dude, Family Guy was great. I remember when that came out. I used to buy the box sets of that. I think it was mostly, for me, I was in college and high school, I think, for Family Guy. So I would actually go buy like the DVD box sets because I wanted to have the whole season. That's how you had seasons back then. It wasn't buying it on YouTube or buying it on Amazon or wherever. <clears throat> So, yeah, it's it's pretty funny. God, how thing how the world has changed just in the time that I've been alive is insane. Like to think that I would be out here playing video games on YouTube, you know, on a platform like that, being able to chat with you guys while we play some horror games. It's just wild to think like I was going to be playing games when I'm 40 years old. Like it's fucking like, I'm just waiting to, like, start graying up. But like I say, I feel young, man. My Here's the thing. When you hit 40, your brain is still going to be that of an 18-year-old. Like, you'll be a little more mature about certain things, and maybe you'll, you won't want to put up with people more, you know, that kind of stuff. But you'll still think that you're young. Like, it never changes. So that's why whenever you go out and you look at, like, a person that's, like, 90 years old, they still think. They, their brain still feels like they're much younger. So... I don't think anybody really grows into it. It's like, all right, well, I'm ready to die. Um, <laughs> you know? I mean, there's some people that are like that. My grandfather, my father, all of them are like that, right? They're like, you know, I'm ready to be done with this planet, you know, because they're getting older. But 
It's just funny. Your, your brain never really grows up, I don't think. DVD box sets, that's right. You still have those? Yes. You get the whole freaking season, you know? No, oh, so good. Oh, I'm telling you, if I knew what the hell to do when I was younger, I'd be filthy rich. I'd be filthy rich because there'd be so much opportunity. And here's a life lesson. For anybody who's young out there, you are going to be self-conscious about trying things. You're going to be like, I don't want people to laugh at me. I don't want to fail. I don't. I don't want. I don't want my other friends to be like successful, and for me to seem lame and 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 unsuccessful, and them like talk badly about. Screw all of that. Ignore all of that. You go try some shit. Like get out there and just try some shit. And who cares if it fails? You've got so much time to recover. So much time to recover. Like who cares if it fails? Get out there and try some shit. Like do something that you're like, man, it would be neat if I could do this or if I did that. Go research it, YouTube it, Google it, learn how to become that thing and to do that. Like I'm 40 years old out here playing around with YouTube, you know, having fun with you guys, chilling, making videos. Before I started this like six, seven months ago, I didn't know anything about video editing. I didn't know anything about any of this, how YouTube worked. And I'm just out here having fun you know giving it a go and making some content and finding out that i really enjoy it so do it much earlier than me don't wait till you're 40. get out there and do that shit when you're in your 20s but if you are 40 or you're 33 get out there and do it now that's my that's my soapbox speech for everyone so get out there and do something and don't be worried about what people think because it does not matter it will never matter and when you think people are thinking about you they're not like when you trip and you slip and you're in a parking lot and you think, oh, everybody just saw me. Yeah, they noticed you trip and slip and then they immediately forgot about you because you're not the main character in their story. They're the main character in their story. So they only think about themselves. That's how everybody is. So don't ever worry about what people think because they don't think about you. And that's what you have to remember. All right, sliding the soapbox away. Get away, soapbox. We're done. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Let's run. Okay. I need a box. I need something to get me out of this basement. Ooh, I like this. All right. We'll get ourselves a bone. Maybe if I hold it's better. I can't remember. Yeah, for bones it is. What is this? Just just slide the box away. Just Can I get through here? Alright. I've got a bone to pick. No. I've got a bone and I've got Uh I've just gotta get a box. I just gotta get the uh the lockpick box. Oh, do you have a lockpick, girly? Where are you at? Oh, shit. Okay, you're coming up here. What do you... Oh, no. All right, we're going to die unless you open that. I need you to... Do you have a lockpick? Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Watch Full Metal Jacket on Netflix using your phone. Remember back in 2015? First phone was a flip phone. Now it's Samsung. All right, you want to hear some old shit? My first phone was a bag phone. Does anybody know what a bag phone is? It's like a phone that literally is like in a bag, all right? Like a little pouch. And it has to stay in there because it's all connected to like a battery and stuff. So you have like a little phone, like with a cable. And you could have it like in your car with you. So, oh no. Uh, uh, gotta be more careful. Uh. So you could have it in your car with you and... Oh no. There's a guy coming. There he is. But yeah, it was a bag phone. You would stick it in your car. Now, where did you go? Is he going down? Oh, they're gonna find me. There's no way they don't see me here. 
Yeah, yeah, back phones had like huge antennas. They were just so weird. But that was my first phone, and I had it in my car because my parents bought me one. Um, you know, we weren't rich by any means, but we were like middle class. And so, yeah, they bought me one so I would have one in my car. What the hell is And then eventually I got me a Nokia. Woo! Play some snake on that bad boy. Had a Nokia in uh, college. Yes, things the size of a switch and twice as wide. You're absolutely right. Oh my god. Are they like on the other side of this wall from me? Didn't I get a lockpick? What happened to my lockpick? Didn't I? No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Your mom was a court reporter and she had that thing and a pager. Yeah, I never got a pager. I was never cool enough for one of those. I was jealous of my friends that had pagers. They're like clicking it out and they're like, oh yeah, I gotta call my mom or, you know, I gotta call my friend and I'm like, dude, that's awesome. You got a pager. What is this guy doing? He's like right here. Nice. Not good. Not good. Hide. Okay, I need to get out that door. That's the door right there. That's how I get out of here. Or this is going to be just death if I don't get out that door. Okay, somebody already got that. I love that there's like a dead person playing piano. Play the piano, funny man. Play the piano. I'm going to try to get upstairs. Oh, shit. I'm not going to go upstairs, I've decided. I've changed my mind. There's a box right on the other side of this wall, but I'm afraid I'm not going to get it in time. Can I use this? See if we can do it quietly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a guy right upstairs. Like, he could come down any moment, and then we're dead. Keeping this. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh my god, what am I caught on? Go in there, go in there, go in there. Nice. Okay, let's go up here, let's go up here. This lot, come on, we gotta do it fast. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, I'm so screwed. I'm stressed right now. This is like the most greedy, dangerous move I could possibly do right now, I feel like. But if I can get out here, I'm going to be in really good shape. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I don't think they saw me go out here. Okay, he's feeding the old man. I can hear it. We gotta book it. We gotta get the hell out of here. Stay still. Come on, come on, come on. If I can break this, I'm good. Break this and we're out of here. Fuck! Oh no. Can I break it before he gets to me? Oh, I'm worried. Just get out of here. Just get out. Okay, he's coming. I just gotta go for the gate. I may not make it. I may not make it. He may have more stamina than me right now. Oh, come on. I may not make it. Because I'm like really wounded and my stamina is almost out. I gotta go. Oh, we did it! <laughs> that was intense. That was intense. Imagine if Richard Traeger, Dr. Traeger was unlockable. I 
I, I'm sharing post and playing at the same time. What? I'm not, I'm not sharing anything. Am I? What am I doing? Oh my god, does this girl get out? Yep. Alright. Is that it? That was it. That's the group. We got out. Very nice. Alright, let me escape. And give myself some points. I think I have points now. For like Leland. He's got five points. Okay. So I heard if I hit tab, I get the full view. Okay, nice. Alright. Okay, so now we go... Oh, shoot. what I do? Load out. No. Him load out. And then up his stealth? Or proficiency, maybe. Let's go proficiency a little bit more. Nice. Alright. We're doing great here. Oh, on Instagram? I did share something earlier on Instagram, I think, didn't I? Oh, yeah. That welcome... I don't know if y'all saw that playthrough of Welcome to Kowloon, but that was a really cool game. That one is a really cool one. Y'all should check that full playthrough out, because that one was fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. It's made by N4BA, and uh, N4BA made Depart... Um, I want to say he made, like, September 7th and other games like that, and all those games were just so good in quality. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing <laughs> University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned. The town of Newt. No There's all these places. So I live in Texas, and I've been to a number of the places that they've named in this game. And I will say it makes sense that Texas Chainsaw would happen in those places because it looks just like this. Is what is what hot? Is Texas hot? Texas is hotter than hell. Oh yeah, rub your head in the intestines. That's how you get ear infections. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? This looks promising. Oh, this is a really good start right here. Oh, there are crazy people with guns. Uh, I'm a not crazy person with a gun. I mean, I carry everywhere I go. But honestly, I don't see a whole lot of chainsaws around here. I mean, we we have them, but there's just un until you get into like West Texas. No, no, I'm sorry. More like South Texas. That's when you see a lot of trees. In West Texas, it's a lot of like plains and and not many trees. It looks a lot more like this game in West Texas. Oh, well, I guess let's get out of here. Just kidding. Does he see me? Alright, we're good. Easy. Here it's crazy. Heat, drugs, and beaches. I mean, the American dream, am I right? <laughs> All right, we pissed off Grandpa. They're gonna all be coming. Stay still, stay still. I would waltz across Texas. Must have really loved that person. Yeah, that's true. So to be willing to do that. Oh, 
All right. I don't know this map, so I don't know where I'm at right now. In the dark, it changes so much. Texas is huge. You can drive from one point of Texas to another 13 hours as straight as you can go, and you'll still be in Texas. 13 hours of driving. And our speed limits here on the highway is 75 miles an hour, so you're not just, like, lightly cruising. You're hauling ass. Got sugar. <laughs> oh, it's all right, sugar. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. We've got all those really sweet sayings that are actually extremely condescending, but they sound like we're being really nice. Oh, bless his heart. That basically means, oh, God, I feel sorry for you. This is my version of pity. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's close that. Nice. All right. Let's go turn this electricity off. And then I'm going to have to find a way out of here. Man, I'm doing good right now. You use them at work. Now remind me again, Rose, which which part of the country are you at? You're at uh, on the beach, so Florida, right? Did you say Florida before? Where is everybody? Oh, this is awful. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. I thought I remembered that, right? I have a really bad memory, so that's that's impressive I remembered that. Yeah, I like coming to Florida. Uh I've really only been to Miami and um, Orlando for obvious reasons. That's where Universal Studios and all that is. That was a really fun trip. It's expensive, but it was fun. Yeah, Disney World and, and Universal Studios. That was a last year trip. Man, I'm doing good this game. Look at this. Freaking champion. All right, guys. If y'all can get to the backfield, I've already unlocked the gate. I've unlocked the exit door. You're ready to leave. Oh, yeah. Miami, I imagine. Just extremely expensive. Oh, God. Is she being murdered? Look at that. Oh, no. All right. Hold on. Let's guess who killed her. Sissy. I'm guessing that was a sissy kill. How do we get out of here? Think. Think. All right, Sonny, it's just you, buddy. Can you get here to the backfield? I can try. All right, man. It's all. I mean, it's open. You just gotta run. You just gotta sneak around them. Oh no. Is it left door or right side? Everything. back. Say what? Is a car battery exit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car battery exit. I already undid the car battery and unlocked the door. I'm just waiting for you. I can help you get out I'm of coming. here. I can knock them down or something. I'm going to move towards you. Oh, you're good. Easy win. Let them know where we're at. Easy Father. win. I can make it. <laughs> Sis giggling. Yeah, yeah, I, I told him it was I told him it was the backfield. I did learn that in top right I can tell where things are, which is good. And I'm getting I'm getting pretty good at this game, honestly. I will say when you play against really good killers, it is incredibly terrifying and it's so hard to win. Like when killers are really good, it's terrible. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, this is a cool game, though. You know, I wish Gate uh, Sunny. I don't want to play oh, Sunny. Me, sissy. Who the fuck? <laughs> shut your bitch ass up. <laughs>
Hey, I'm ah. being nice. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll be her. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Two guys do sound like a dope. So. Alright, I see we have an experienced killer team here. Alright. Well, I'm not that experienced. <laughs> you, just, you just play a lot. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I feel you. <laughs> Good chess players. <laughs> a, few, a few matches ago, um, one of the victims said, "Oh, and she's a girl too, huh? Sissy's a girl, uh, voiced by a girl." And then I was like, "Well, yeah, I'm pl playing her." And he's all like, "Well, make me a sandwich, bitch." I go, "No, make yourself a sandwich." <laughs> hey, can, hey, can y'all ready up? Uh, just Leatherface and Connie. Oh, Connie's on it. What about you, Leatherface? How you feeling? What's that? Hold What's on, that? let me in. Nice. Good job. Teamwork. High five all around. There you go. He ready up. Hey, I think my stuff. I'm Mike Twitter. Search continues in Muerto County for a missing <sighs> University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores. Wait, am I Sunny? No. Sunny's dying. <laughs> How do you want it? Blood here, guts. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I'm Mike is too. Oh god. For real? I love the chainsaw sounds right next to me. All right. We're okay. We're okay. I know it seems like he's right oh, next to man. us. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What are they doing to me? All right. We're doing great. Okay. I thought I was going to just go around. I don't know. Are you close by his? That's not or yours. Uh. Oh, no. He's after me, boys. Shit, he right next to me. He right next to me. Yeah, yeah he's one me though. You know what? I'm making bro, noise. I think I'm dead, bro. I'm dead, bro. I've got a bone spike. I'm I'm going after him to help you. What do I do? Uh, never mind, dude. I'm dead. Abort! I'm aborting! Dead on him! Alright, alright. I've got the bone spike. If I have to stab old Leatherface in the back, it might happen. Oh, shit. He's like right there. He's like on me. This is a really big basement. Oh, dude. Somebody's about to come through there. Let's see. Does he remember to lock it when he comes through? What do you think? Think that guy opens that door? I can hear him. You're not good. Need to make a not fit person that can't fit through the gaps. That would have been me before I, I started working out, probably. I'd be like, oh, God, I can't. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That would be hey, funny. Hey, where'd y'all escape from? Like, what would his special ability be? Like, the not fit dude. Like, what would his special ability be? He's, he'd have to have, like, a really cool special ability, right? That's not good. Not good. Not good. No, I'm screwed. Run faster, girl. I try you escape. Oh, I'm so dead. Send me thoughts and prayers right now, guys. Thoughts and prayers. Okay, we're okay. That seemed bleak. Oh, we can go up to. Dang, he ready. I'm out of here, dude. See you in hell, Leatherface! Somebody already escaped? Which way did they escape? How did that not trigger me? Throwing throwing out the attackers so they can't grab them? That, um, yeah, that's something. 
Like if you if they start like a kill sequence, he like gets to like knock them back. Maybe he does like a big old belly bump and they fall on their ass. But he only gets like one of them per game. I escaped from a ladder. Bro, oh, I don't even know where I'm at, bro. I never. Oh, I'm by Anna. Yeah, Anna. what's up? Yo. I just, you know, I just want to hang out with you. You seem like a stud, you know. You can knock dudes down. Right, let's go. Come on, bro. Let's go on these. Uh. Oh, I know you saw her. Uh, she didn't see shit. Oh, that's the way out, right there. That's the way. Let's that's go after. Her. Right Let's there. go stab her. Yep. All right, you knock her down if she comes after me. I'm breaking this. I don't know where we at, but uh, oh, behind us, behind us, knock him down. I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice, let's go. Hey, he's coming, he's coming, though, he's coming. Stay, come on, guys, hit her. Oh no, she's cutting me up. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did he call wow. you Evan? I don't know. I didn't expect them all to be there. Oh, look at that death. Wait. No one escaped. I thought he said someone escaped, so I thought... Oh, my God. Okay. That's why I was, like, booking it. I thought that maybe they re-engaged the electricity. <laughs> Well, the dream was real. Well, the dream is crushed. It's all up to you, Connie. I have faith. Dang. What's up, Kilo? My dude? We don't make sandwiches, she said. You know what? If I had a lady who was like the breadwinner, I'd be making some sandwiches. That's all I'm saying. I'm not above it. She can slap me on the ass and I'll go make some sandwiches, you know? Try it to just you. Nah. I thought Anna died. <laughs> How do people like this happen? How do people like this happen? Oh, this is Julie. Oh, she found her way out. She's out. Damn, Julie's Julie out. Gone. Hey, Julie, a dog. It'll yeah, be okay, Julie. Connie. It'll be okay. Oh, okay. It's not going to be okay now. No, I'm fucked. <laughs> hey, Julie got gone. She got gone. Oh, bro. She, she a dog. Of course, of course, fucking sissy want to come out as, as I try to move to the next fucking door. Kelly. <laughs> oh my god. GG. GG. You brutal <laughs> killers. Hey, you guys were trying to attack me, so the rest of the family came. <laughs> nah, they definitely did. GG. He got smoked so bad. That was rough. He did gently push her face in there. That was... It's, you know, chivalry is not dead. Really is what that means. Chivalry's not dead. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, starting at four watching horror games and stuff like that. Gonna be so desensitized to horror. Which is a good thing. I think being like me, I'm pretty desensitized to horror movies at this point. Like very desensitized to horror movies. And so uh, I can just have fun with them, right? I can watch them. I can laugh. The, the terrible horror movies are also fun. They're just a fun experience. Uh, but horror games, I'm still not fully desensitized to those. I'm, I'm working my way there. Like... Certain types of horror games I can I'm okay with, but man, there are certain ones that just start to get under my skin and I start getting stressed and like you can tell when I'm stressed if I'm playing a horror game, if you ever watch one that I record, because I start getting quiet. Because I'm like focusing and I'm like, oh shit, you know? 
It's that stress just like overcomes me. <laughs> oh, I'm Anna again. I don't want to be Anna. Oh, I guess I'll have to be. Ah, it's fine. We'll level up Anna. She's pretty. I mean. Anna's beautiful, right? Anna's like the, the high school cheerleader. Connie is like the country girl, you know, that is cute at school, but she knows how to, like, do work on the on the ranch, too. And then Julie looks like she might have tried meth a couple of times. There's just something about her eyes, you know. Like, if she smiled, she might be missing a couple teeth. We don't know. You know, we can't know. Oh, you start singing? I sing too whenever I'm nervous. I actually do it, I think, in one of the clips, one of my shorts that's that's coming out. It's it's me singing. It makes you feel better, right? Has it ever been really late at night, all the lights are off, you're w walking through the house, and then you just get that cold chill kind of over your body like somebody's watching you? So you either start moving really quickly in your house to get to your bedroom, or you start singing. Because you think, you know, the singing will make the, the evil demons think that you're not scared, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank God, Leland, you're alive. I'm out of here. See you in hell, Leland. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Leland is getting got. I'm going to get a tool really quick while Leland is getting chopped up. Go! Nice. I don't care. I could go for that door, but that door just seems like death. Let's not do that. I don't want health. Health is for the weak. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's running after me. Like somehow he knows the direction I went. House is tiny. Uh, it's the workplace. That place is haunted. Oh, that's that's great. So, dead serious. I've heard stuff up here in my house before, like sounds and stuff. And I'll hear people coming up the stairs because I'm on the second floor uh, up here. I'll hear people walking up the stairs, and then. Anyone in my house is like far away. They're like on the opposite side of the house. So there's no one that could have been up the stairs. Because I asked one time, I was like, who came up the stairs earlier? And they're all like, no one. You know, they're all sitting there watching iPads, watching TV, Wait, whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's great. So it's just haunted. That's good. That makes me feel better whenever I play horror games that, you know, it might be haunted up here. <laughs> Looks like some kind of okay, we got it. We got it. Oh, thank God. All right, where's a door? Where's a door? if I was a door, where would I be? In a creepy person's basement. I think I can make it. You think so? Oh, that was just open. Cool. Let's leave. Let's go. Let's never come back, yo. I don't know where everyone is. Oh my god, I'm scared. Let's open this door. Oh god. Take your time. me.
God, is he gonna come this way? I'm so stressed. See, I told you I got quiet. I got stressed there. Oh dear God. They always try to hide. It's always the same game. Oh my God, that wasn't locked? Are you actually kidding me? There's gonna be a trap somewhere. I'm gonna get smoked from a trap. I've got lock picks. I can get myself at. Oh my God, no. Please don't have seen me. I'm so close. What? Okay, this door, is it locked? Okay, this one's locked. Oh my God, she's so bad. Look at this. Well, you lockpick better. What do I, do? I mean, if it were me, I'd just break the glass and then just jump through. But, you know, you do you, boo. You do you, boo. Ooh, I almost broke it there. That was getting greedy. Getting greedy. All right, cool. Go through, close that door. Go down, break the shiz over here. All right, I have a decent chance of getting away if they don't come in here. Thank you, dear baby Jesus. Okay, anyone out here yet? Nope, we're good. All right. Oh no, everyone's getting executed. Connie, I'm in the parking lot, and it's getting open. She even knows where that is. Like, for me, I always struggle on these maps to even know where that is. Someone could just be like, I'm at the Waffle House. I'm, I'm ex exiting, and I'd be like, I have no I I idea at all, like, where anything is in this map. All right, Connie, I've got it. The parking lot is fully open. You can go all the way through. All the doors are open here. Generator's off. We're ready to rock and roll. I have faith in you. I believe in you, Connie. Where is Connie? That's the real question. Where's Connie? Freedom, look at that. Freedom right there. What does that street say? FM 685. You know what? You We're fact checking. Think. FM 685. Is that BS? Is that BS? FM 685, Texas. Is that a real road? Where are we at? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's near Cedar Park. Okay. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to look at this. I want to see how far it is from like Austin and places like that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, from Austin, it's northeast. It's near Pflugerville. I've actually been to Pflugerville before. All right. I can guide us to this position right here, guys. For me to drive there, it would take about six and a half hours. <laughs> about six and a half hours. Yep. Northeast of Austin. East of Round Rock, which is North Austin. So it's really not that far. I'm Let's all go on a road trip. We're all meeting Please. at FM 685 east of Round Rock. Who's down? Please. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a vile darkness reunion. We're gonna all get together. We're gonna see if the flowers are actually this beautiful there like this. Oh, I'm last victim. She died horribly. Alright, we're out of here. Please, God. Please. The pretty girl always survives these movies. All right, nice. All right. Hopefully it'll let me be a different victim this time. It keeps making me her. You can't do it, you have a four-year-old? It's all right, we'll make it a family vacation. It'll be fun. I'm sure there's plenty of non- chainsaw things to do in that in that area I'm just looking at my map here I'm like trying to see like what's close to it that you would even want to go to really just Austin mainly you could go to Georgetown Round Rock that area would be just fine 
There'd be fun stuff to do there. There's Lake Travis out there. Nice lake to go to. You could go down to uh, downtown Austin and see all of the weird people. So I remember last time I was in Austin when I was downtown, I was walking downtown. And so Austin has this thing where they say, keep Austin weird. They have t-shirts. It's like, keep Austin weird. It's because the people there, there's like a very unique kind of group of people that go to Austin, right? Because it's it's a lot more liberal just in its in, in the way that it is. And so it's kind of different from a lot of areas of Texas. Well, I remember walking down there, and there's like a party going on on the street in downtown, and I walked by a guy in a Speedo. All right, it's just the summer, you know. There's no water anywhere near this road. He's in a Speedo. It's an American flag Speedo, and he's playing the cello in the middle of the street. So if that gives you any sense as to what kind of strange things you might could see in downtown Austin at night. <laughs> yeah. Austin's weird. It's cool, too. I like Austin. Austin's a cool place, but it's got some very unique people. Oh, crap. Um, can I pick anyone else that I want to play? I'll be Connie. Connie is a champion. Like, she can't be detected at all. So, Connie hasn't been choked out. Leland has been choked. Oh, well, no, it's, you can see handprints in the little symbol of Connie, but you don't see it on the on the full version of her on the right here. All right, Julie. Whiskey Llama 360. It's all on you. You ready to ready up? Yeah. My man. Or my, my woman. Wh whatever you are. My bad, my dog. I was watching too many Tic Tacs. You watching that Tic Tac? The continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. <laughs> The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, what time is it? 824? More protein. God, working out and trying to keep up with protein requirements is a mother. I have to get 250 grams of protein in a day, which means I constantly have to have protein, and it's so hard to keep up with. All right. I think I can make it. Oh, yes. A shortcut. All right, guys. We're not going to die here. Not today. Not like this. This might lead to the others. They had two people fight in front of a Walmart at a bus stop and be thrown onto the people on the bench. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh god. I am so sorry. That was a mistake. I just drew them to three of us. So, you're welcome. Oh, I've seen all of the, like, man in Florida memes, right? There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a very unique group of people in Florida, too. I don't know if it's like that in Miami, but in other places, definitely. Alright, what do we want to do, guys? There's a there's a door back here, I think, if you want to get out over here. I can lockpick it. Yeah, it's just right around that corner. She's so good at lockpicking. I love Connie. When I'm not raising cattle, I'm out here just picking locks from my, from my daddy. That was a horrible accent. Whatever I just did, I should be ashamed of. That was like an old grandmother. I don't know. Okay, where does this go? Oh, it's over here. Do 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 do. Gonna go this way and win. Break my legs, break my legs, break them legs all day and night. Okay, I heard the generator back that other way, but I want to see what was over here. Shut up, bird. Oh crap. 
I'm invisible. Oh. Alright. I can't believe they didn't see me. Big old Bubba. <laughs> A thong bottom bikinis. Yep. One lady walked in see through uh with a see-through shirt and no bra. Had to take her order. Bakers were watching a little too much. Oh wow. I think they've changed a lot of the rules around that, uh, in places where women can go fully topless and snow big deal. Uh-oh. Shit. Get away from me! I'm drugged! Oh, I'm so dead. Run, Connie! Oh my god, Connie, run! No, Connie! Oh. That's how I would die in real life, let's be honest. I'd be like, we're gonna get out of here, guys! And then I would just run into a wall with a chicken and freak out. Yeah, I actually don't think it's not illegal for women to go topless places, but I guess it's just becoming more normalized in certain places. I don't know why women would want to. I mean, it's like me wearing a see-through thong. I don't know why I would want to. <laughs> a little nip covers, you know, just something. Maybe some tassels she could swing around, just not the whole full, you know, breast out. The breasticles, as you will. <laughs> Golly, look at Julie's back here. Like, she has been beaten. What just happened? Why did it not unlock for her? That happened to me before. Does it have a chance of failing now? Maybe it does. Let's see how everyone else is doing. Anna's doing okay. Uh, she's not going to be doing okay for long. In three, two, one. Just go down, Anna. I cannot imagine falling and landing back my on my back on a pile of bones. What's that? She's got no skills, that's true. No skills at all. Oh, did she escape? Julie escaped. Crazy. Leland is just Enjoying life, you know, he's out here not really going towards anything. He's just hanging out spending time All right enough of these people I don't it's gonna take them forever level 17 Give me some more points there we go Very nice very nice Reminds you of Ashley So, Rose, remind me, what kind of games do you play? Or what kind of uh, content do you do? Because I know that you go live and you do some YouTube stuff. What kind of content do you do again? I need to check out your channel sometime. Oh, I guess I'll be Connie again. That's fine. Games mostly, but you do have cooking videos. That's cool. I wish I could cook. I'm just not patient enough for it. Because I feel like it's like a time commitment. It's like 30 minutes of my life or 45 minutes of my life for most of the things I would try to cook. And then if I screw it up, I just wasted 30 or 45 minutes of my life, you know? 
But for people who are good cooks, that's awesome. I applaud you. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing university. Little plays with stuffed animals. That sounds awesome. I've thought about doing more more stuff like um, more skit type stuff. Like the skits I did with like the haunted bathroom here and uh, the mowing, lawn mowing stuff, you know, with Michael Myers. I've thought about doing more skit type stuff like that. I think it would be fun. I have a lot of fun making it. I don't know if people have a lot of fun watching it, but I have a lot of fun making it. All right, Connie, get out. Uh, Choo Choo Charles, the main character. Awesome. That was a surprisingly fun game. That was actually one of my earlier games that I played on this channel. Choo Choo Charles. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This might lead to the others. No, it's not going to lead to the others, but let's go take this door back here and get the hell out of here. About to open a door, guys. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Alright, tool storage door is coming open. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, they see me. That's great. like a ninja they'll never know they'll never find me I am the knight I am vengeance okay we can't go that way let's go around this way let's focus this and just get it open because once you get out here you literally can did that just make a lot of noise yeah it sure did cool that's good that's good they didn't turn on the breakers there a toolbox back here Oh no. Oh no. If y'all can get to the backfield with a, a picking tool, we can get out of here. We just need one more to get out the final door. Everything else is open. Yeah, I need to get a... Alright, hold on. Let's grab the hell. Because we can. Oh, he didn't see me. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. They are all in this area. Look at this. Oh, cause somebody else is here. Listen, I wouldn't have to do this. I screwed him by doing that. I screwed him. Let's go in the house. Maybe there's a toolbox in the house. Since they're all over there hanging out, spending time. You know, quality time with, with Sunny. If you're going to spend some quality time, it might as well be with Sunny. He's a good guy, you know. Who the hell are these people? Garten, uh, I have not played uh, Garten of Band Band 4 yet. That is something I'll have to play. Is it good? Is it worth playing? I played one through three. Oh, that's good. Draw them to me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my god! Why, dude? Nope. Nope. No. Stop. Stop. No, please! God, he's so strong! Hits me like twice, like, but barely a hit and then death. Oh my god. I was doing so good and then somebody made noise. They're like, I'm just gonna make a lot of noise here. 
Like, if these people survive, it's because I told them where to go. I'm, all of it's on me. I deserve all credit. All hell vile. I did, t I did tell them to come. That was the problem, Rose. I told them to come to the uh, backfield, and then Sonny came, and he brought all three of them. How did... Oh, he saw you. You did. Oh, just take a nap there. You'll be okay. Oh, you're dead, dude. No way. Coming around. You better go through quick. Click it again. Oh, Leland, Leland, Leland. You silly bitch. <laughs> Only watch on Linky Box. Someone showed up and I had a sore throat for the rest of the day. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have told people to come to me. I probably would have been better off if they just kind of did their own thing and then I worked out how to get a toolbox in the house and then got back over there and then escaped. But by calling out to them, Sonny's like, what? I'm going to bring all of them to you. And then he ran over and just screwed me over completely. You did, boy! Oh, uh, you better go down. That's your only choice. And soul crushing. Oh, look at that dead body right there. Who is that? Whose body is that? Is there anyone else alive? Alright, we got Julie. She's doing her best. Living the dream. She's doing pretty good. She's got full health here. She's got a lockpick. She can get out of here. She can literally win right now if she just goes to where we were. Oh, last victim standing. Oh, but she has Julie, and Julie's crappy at lockpicking. You're dead. He's behind you. But he didn't see you. Oh, my God. He didn't see you. You could have got it. Oh, sucks to suck. Julie and crack your bones oh dude that's on stone you don't live that your back is broken permanently you land on that that's just falling on cinder blocks basically Choo Choo Charles has a rough voice yes you can now honk a lot Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. I just want everyone to, like, imagine. Could you imagine being in this position right now? In real life? You're the only person alive. There are three psychopaths chasing you. You're bleeding. From your back. From your side. You've been beaten. You've been tortured. And all you have is a little sharpened bone and a screwdriver. I mean, I don't know. I take out Cook. I mean, in real life, I take out Cook easily. And me and uh, Johnny have a pretty rough fight. It could go either way. I don't know which way it goes with Johnny. But the second I deal with Bubba, I think he has way too much strength. I bet he wrecks my ass. So I would have to just stay away from Bubba. Oh, the disrespect, Julie. You're gonna get out, okay? The disrespect. You will, Julie. You gotta get out, Julie. You will, Julie. Oh, he saw your ass. Yep, well, make a lot of noise. Perfect. He sees you. He's coming that way. Just sit still. But he's gonna track you because he's not stupid. 
He's gonna do his track ability. Back down we go! Whee! I mean, honestly, most of the things in the basement, I would be able to kill most of these people with, realistically. There are so many sharp objects. I could kill an old man. I could probably surprise Johnny. But again, I just think that Bubba is going to be like superhuman strength and terrifying. He's the kind of guy you stab in the back with a knife, and he doesn't care at all. You know, he's still fighting and swinging and being crazy. You'd have to somehow get that chainsaw from him, but he's gonna have like super strength, so there's no way you pry it from his hands. I mean, hell, there's meat hooks in there. You could do some damage with a meat hook. Those things are pointy, they're sharp. They're made to hook heat. Hook heat, hook meat. I can't speak. Yeah, that's true. Whatever twine they're using there, you could probably choke somebody out with. Get behind them. I'm acting all tough here. Like, in, if, if I was in this situation, I'd just be, like, John wicking people's ass. But the truth is, I'd probably just be running for my life. Now, this is in Texas, so it's very likely that I do have my gun on me. So this all ends very quickly. If it's just a normal scenario. But if they got me and they disarmed me, we're going to have to use bones. And that's that's the best we got. <laughs> Julie, I am so sorry. This is terrifying for you. Being the last alive is the worst. Go up right there, to your left. Yeah, gun, guns always come in handy. Yeah, this house is not defended with a baseball bat, that's all I'm saying. Oh, he saw you, don't... Stab him again! Yes! The disrespect! It was worth it! Even if you die, the disrespect of hurting Grandpa. <laughs> Alright, she's just going full feral mode at this point. She needs health, though. I can't believe she has lived this long. There's the health. That was she. Oh no, that was a bone. She needs health. All right, take a nap, Julie. You'll be okay. If she goes down again, I think it's permanent. I think she dies for good. So she has to have health. Oh, Cook was waiting. It's been a long time since I beat a woman with my cane. Go left, go through the crack. Yep, nice move. Oh, this might be permadeath. That's how she goes out. She tried her hardest. Like... I would be proud of that. I would be proud of that. I would for sure be proud of that run. If that's how I went out, now I stabbed like a old psycho vampire grandpa multiple times and you know, kept evading my killers. I'd feel pretty good about it. The point is you don't always uh, wait, who am I? I'm Anna? Okay. Yeah. If you ever get kidnapped, just try to make whoever is kidnapping you suffer. That's really all it is. If you live or die, it is what it is. 
Yo, what's up? What's up? I'm like the first person in like four matches that actually has a mic. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, people are introverts, man. Oh hell, I am too in real life, but like when I won the game, I don't care. Me too. Me too. All right, Johnny. All you have to do is ready up, and we're rocking and rolling. You know what I mean? I have faith in you, Johnny. You wouldn't dare troll us, because you care about us, and you're a good guy. Or girl. Or potato. What, whatever you want to be, really. That's what, it, that's what matters. <laughs> Johnny's cleaning his knives, that's right. I mean, this Johnny character, I think he does some very weird sexual things with those knives. That's all I'm saying. I, I think he's... He's a little off. But I do share something with Johnny that, you know, we both like to go to the gym. So that's good. You know, he's got some muscle. That's why I think it would be a, it'd be a pretty fair fight. I would take Sissy out in a heartbeat, though. Sissy's going down fast. I mean, she's skinny. It's just Leatherface. He's the only one that I am really worried about. Hitchhiker? He's a stick. I break him in half. What does he weigh? A buck fifty? You know? Not Leatherface, though. Not him. He's probably got that superhuman strength where he could just, like, rip my arms out of their sockets. I love how much fun Bubba has, you know, chopping people up. You can just hear the the glee. Damn, this in his dude voice. fucking sucks. Who? I was using Connie last time, man. She's fast. Yeah, Connie's nice. Are you using Leland? Yeah, I'm usually I'm main carry. Like, I'm yeah. testing out these guys. So Leland can be good if you will just up his proficiency in stealth primarily. Oh god. Is he coming this way? Yep. He didn't see me! I just stayed doing this and he didn't see me. That's so funny. Oh no! I was gonna help her. No! She got killed! Killed already. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come over here. Who is that? I wonder where this goes. Shit. Yeah, it's looking bad down here. There's gotta be something I can use around here. I don't have a tool. I haven't found any. Does anybody have a lockpick for the store? Yeah, I got one. I'm just lost. Oh. Does he see me? He's relocking it. <laughs> Shit! No! No! He sees me tucked in the corner! I thought they'd go around me! Oh my god. Alright, we exit. We go to the next one. We're not- we're not waiting that long. That was horrible. I got my butt whooped so bad. Next match. Can I- can I go next match? Exit it. Skip. Next match. There we go. I hear a story about a... 
Uh, an armed lady about that size that had four men hold her down so she could get the flu shot. What? Oh, an army, la army lady. Army lady. Okay. Took four men to hold her down for a flu shot. Oh my gosh. Sounds like she was a bit of a drama queen. That's one thing that you can really help your children with is uh, just being tough. Because the world is a hard place, right? Like, don't teach your kids to be scared of like dentists and doctors. Just tell them to be tough. It helped me. My parents would not put up with shit for me. Like, if I didn't want to go to the dentist, it's like, put up or shut up. You know what I mean? Like, get out there and you're going to the dentist, so like it or not. And when it came to shots and doctors, it's like, this is what we do. We take shots. Deal with it. They never, like, coddled me about that stuff. And so nowadays, when I have to go, I'll always go to the doctor and they'll be like, are you okay with taking shot?" I'm like, yeah, just give me the shot. Like, I don't care. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are like, oh, God, where's the shot going to go? Where are you going to put it? But, man, it's just not that big of a deal. There's so many worse things in this life than shots and dentists and stuff like that. Shots get toys. That's a good That's a good thing, too. Yeah, you take shots, you get toys. Reward it. Make it a positive thing. That's a good way to handle it. I will say when they're little babies, though, and they get shots and they just cry and scream and their just little faces are so adorable, but... Uh, so much in pain, you feel so bad, but as they get older, you're like, eh, just take the shot, you'll be fine. Alright, let's ready up and let's, let's win, guys. Let's win. I see you killers down there. You don't, you don't stand a chance. I'm sorry, guys, you just don't. I agree. Alright. Yeah, I ready up, you stupid bitch. Whoa, whoa, we were all friends. What's going on? Uh, we have a push the table. I'm coming for you, Leland. <laughs> you're not coming for nobody because you're not readied up, stupid fuck. Jeez. Man, just anger. Yeah, that's fucking retard with an Xbox. <laughs> fuck you, Reddit. Hey, let's go, bitch. Oh, the dentist gets ice cream? Man, those are good. Bless his heart. That's right. Bless his heart. Yeah, this this one dude is up. One dude is upset. Alright guys, you ready to win? Alright, here we go. Yeah, for some reason sometimes it continues to queue up my mic. Dude, he's like right next to me. Do I die in here? There's no way, right? Stay calm, Mona. You can do this. Right here, right here. No way he checks back here. No way he checks back here, right? This is clutch. Bless his heart. Oh, this is actually really nice. Okay, where what is, is the toolbox? What is this? It's a bone scrap. Let's get it. What do you think? Bone scrap it up, baby. You know how to do it. Very good. A knife, maybe. Yes, you could. And instead of just barely hurting them with it, why don't you kill them? Who is that? Leland! Oh god! I missed you so! You got something to open that? Hell no, you don't. Think. Think. Hey, there's a door back here, guys. Right in front of y'all. If y'all have something.
Oh, that's a toolbox. I'm gonna climb over. Ouch. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Alright, let's just hide out and place it. He's gone. And we can open this door real quick. If you don't have a second thing, get a second lock, dude. Is he behind me? We're going out Jenny direction, by the way. J direction? What does that even mean? What is he talking about? Does anyone understand this guy? I'm sorry I loved you all those years. Oh, Grandpa. You were such a good father. Looks like some kind of Which way do we want to go? Back there is a door. Oh, and him. Alright, everyone, scatter! I'm picking this door. No, I'm not. He's coming. Shit. Everything is awesome. Where is he going? That's the question. We got cooked down here. They're going to get me. Like... Coming through. Very nice. Look at those moves. Okay. We're doing great. I think we, we lost them. Temporarily. Okay, there's a door. I can unlock that. Ow. With the worst lock picker ever. Somebody's getting their brains knocked in. That's fine. Good for them. There we go. Alright, wake the dead. Where do I go? Don't move. There's a pump out there. I don't have a lock pick, so that's a problem. Nope, there's one right here. Come on. Madre de Dios. Madre de Dios. Mother of God. Is that what she's saying? Mother of God? Mother of God. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Okay, I know where to go out here. Shit, shit, shit. No. You bitch. I'm gonna stab you. Come on, F, 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 F. Beat her, beat her, beat her, beat her, beat her, beat her. Yeah, hit her in the neck. Die. No! You suck! I hate you! Damn it! Give me in the dead <laughs> Oh my god. I should rest right here. Face down. We're doing great, you know. Could be better, but I think we're doing great. I do need health. Come on, take your time. Guess we'll do it that way, because that way is a little more effective. 
Wow, level three, they are just pumping in full blood. There's a door right there. I need health down here. So I don't survive this very long if I don't get some health. If we don't get our toes, we don't eat no rolls. Where does this go? Is there health in here? Think. Think, you know? That sound is pleasant. Let's not worry about the screaming. I'm sure everything is fine. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my god, it is so dark back here. Could they ever see me here? Who else alive? Alright, he's dead. He's dead. Just two of us. Okay, great. I hear somebody. Dear baby Jesus. I don't really want to go the way he's going, but I need to, I feel like. Which way did he go? There's nowhere to hide. So they just get to see me now. I would love some health. I would love some health. See if we can get that here. Man, I wish I had Connie. I'd already be out of here. I mean, if I can get back here without them seeing me... Let's not even talk about that, because it's not going to happen. Because they see me right now. I'm dead. Right here. Right here! Close the gate! I'm having so much fun! Yay! Yes, fit through, fit through. I mean, I could go down again, it's my only option. Am I dead for good? Do I live? Do I live? Am I dead for good? No, dead for good, no! I needed health and I didn't see any. Like, whenever I don't want health, it's everywhere and I can't find anything else. Alright, does Julie survive? Is Julie good at this game? No, she's so screwed. Grandpa's at max. I should have went after Grandpa is really what I should have done. And just stabbed him. Yeah, you probably are going to die, Julie. In the worst way possible. It's going to be pleasant. <laughs> You're so screwed. Just so screwed. I just don't see how you get out of this. I mean, unless she gets a bone scrap and she stabs Grandpa and somehow gets out, there's just no other chance. This is to the the thicket where I was, where it's super dark. Detected again. Here we go. Oh, if you can get that door open, I got most of it. That door is almost fully picked, by the way. That one right next to you. Oh, actually, it was fully picked, sorry. They're right behind her. She has to go down the well. Of course! Oh, you're getting juked. This, this is a Dead by Daylight player right here. Oh, you're screwed now. Well, it was nice knowing you, Julie. Leatherface is chopping you up. Oh, wow. She is juking.
Yay for Julie! Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Alright guys, I got one more in me, and then I'm gonna call it for a night early. I've had a exhausting week. I am going to be playing uh, another game this week, though. I haven't decided what it is yet, but I'm going to record another full playthrough of something. Something fun, something cool. Kind of like uh, Welcome to Kowloon. I'm going to get it out in the middle of the week, so... We're going to have some other good goodies to be had. I am so tired of playing Anna. Can I play someone else that isn't Sunny? That's fine. I'll play the Meth Addict. That's fine. She looks fine here, but in her other picture, she looks really rough. Not be out. Level double. Not be out. Huh. All right, Julie is gonna win it. I'm gonna come out with a win this time. I've had a lot of bad runs. It was going too good at the beginning. That was the problem. I kept getting out, and I was awesome. And now I'm just getting my teeth kicked in. Oh, what was the name of the Pac-Man on crack game? That is called Dark Deception. That one. Do you like that one? I still have some levels I need to do on it. I just haven't finished it. Pac-Man on crack. I like it. I like the name. That's what they should have named it. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, a native of <laughs> You like those? Okay. I might have to do some more of those. I still have, I don't know, like four or five levels of Dark Deception that I still haven't done yet. Pac Man on crack. That's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> we love how I never really die. Yeah. Gotta focus. Gotta stay strong. Gotta stay strong. As he leaves me, it's like the man here is like just leaving the woman to hang. He's like, gotta focus. Got it. See you in hell, bitch. All right, gotta keep going. Oh wow, we already woke up, Grandpa. Perfect. Already woke up, Grandpa. Yep. Doesn't really matter if we're still or not. Doesn't matter if we're still, because everyone's going to be here shortly. Which way does he go? Left or right? I love the blood handprints on the wall, like somebody was dragged from the door. It's awesome. Which way is he going? I need to know. Is there someone down here? Alright. Let's keep on keeping on. Okay. There's nothing that I need. Perfect. You didn't see me in the corner, did you? Get got. You wish you were as good as me. Got my sneak turned to a hundred. Where are we? North Cell? Alright. Well, that's not great. They could be anywhere. They could be anywhere. Did I lose 
see behind me. Oh shit. Not him. How's it going? You doing okay? Chase him. He'll never get, he'll never see me. The closer you are to your enemy, the better chance you have of surviving. Shit, he broke that. I'm so dead. Grab the health. No, no. Is this door open? Nope. Open it, open it, open it, open it, open it! Eat. <sighs> oh, you ass hat! Are you kidding me? This guy's better than me. Oh, he's so much better than me. He's actually so much better than me. Fuck me. He's so much better. This dude has like super hearing and is just the best at this game. Hi, Bubba! Oh, I can't wait to die. This will be fun. How am I alive? Okay, let's just think for a second. You know? I need that. Just hide for a second. Hide for a second. How many people are alive? Just two of us. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> They're just better than me right now. I'm so stressed. More health. Okay. This might help the pain. Drugs help the pain. Is that a door out? Oh god. That's a door that's open. I can take that door. Alright, let's take that door up and out. Oh my god, more health. Might as well, you know what I mean? Yes. We're back in the green, baby. That is a dead, dead body right there. <laughs> you call stress at work Saturday? Well, this is Saturday. Oh my god. I'm walking to him. He's right here. Is somebody being choked out right now? What is that sound? Last victim standing. Oh my god. Do they see me right here? This is the worst. 
I've ever had it. Fuck. Look at how the dude patrols. What a troll. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. Oh my god, okay. I have a lock pick. I gotta go the long way over here. It's my only chance. I am the last victim standing. This is so scary. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut across. Oh, there's a chicken there, though. Just don't piss off the chicken. Okay, I might die here, but this is my only chance. Look at my lock picking skills. It's so bad. It's frustratingly bad. Are they coming? Oh, I'm so stressed. There's no way I win, right? No way. It won't open. Why? Oh, I got screwed by the game so hard. That is insane. My lockpick, like, broke. Does he open the gate and leave it unlocked? I'm so dead. I can't win this. I need them to unlock that gate for me and leave it unlocked. What are the odds? She is terrible at lock picking. If I had Connie, I would be I would have won. But I've had to play all these like crap girls like Anna and Julie. Like I'm so screwed. Is anyone even watching? No, everyone's disconnected. They're like, this dude doesn't get out alive. There's no freaking way. I gotta get a lockpick. And it's in here to the right. I might as well try to get two. Because I'll have to have two to get out of here. We have a chance. It's such a small, crappy chance, though. Both of them are out there. Does he see me? He can't get to me from over there yet, so I'm going to get through here at least. I can't believe it broke the first time. That's what screwed me. I think I'd get out of here if I, if that didn't break.
Okay. This is so stressful. I'm so stressed right now. Are they gone? They Hell, can't be. They're not. I... No, they're not. No way I get out of here. There's no way. They're going to come. They'll be here soon. They haven't been here in a while. You think the grandpa's a werewolf, not a vamp? Man, I don't know what he is, but he's some su supernatural nonsense. I don't think I live because gr grandpa went at max. And she's so slow at lockpicking. Come on. My heart is beating right now. This is stressful. Just don't break it. No, it broke! No! God, Julie sucks. Julie, you suck. You deserve death. You suck so bad. You suck so bad. It freaking broke, and I wasn't even close to breaking it. That was the win if it didn't break. Can you believe that? Can you believe that bullshittery? Oh my god. I can't believe it. Just, just stick me. Yeah, give it to me. Oh, yeah. Mmm, right in my chest. Oh, she's the worst. I don't much enjoy being violent, but I got no choice here. I got no choice. Awesome. Well, that was fun, guys. Good games tonight. God, Julie sucks. She's the actual worst and deserves whatever she got. That's all I know. And to be honest, she could have just jumped the fence. Let's be honest. Like, she could have just climbed it and jumped it. But she can't even pick a lock. Man. Well, guys, that was a good night. I enjoyed some of that. We're going to be doing a different game next weekend, though. I did want to sneak in a little bit more of the Texas Chainsaw this time because it's a lot of fun. But next weekend, we're going to be pulling out something new, and it's going to be fun. And then also in September, October, we are playing a hell of a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's because we've got to get ready for the movie uh, the movie premiere coming, I think, like, what, October 20-something, 26, 28? I don't know. It's right there before Halloween. So we're going to get through all the games. So those of you who don't know, uh, <coughs> I'm dying. Those of you that don't know about Five Nights at Freddy's, like the lore and all that, if you just come to this channel in September, October, you are going to learn all of it because we're going to play all of it in order, get it all done, kind of understand what is going on with this thing so that when the movie rolls out, we can go hit that movie premiere and it'll be a good time. But hey, for those of you that came to hang out, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate having y'all with me while I play these horribly scary games. And Rose... Hope you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out as well. Um, I hope everyone has sweet dreams. Good night, everyone.